Looking down on the track right now, just over one lap to go in the men's 3,000 meter steeplechase finals. Timbro first, Anthony Famiglietti second, and then Tom Chorney in that order. Famiglietti has been pushing the pace, and Bro just recently took over with a lap to go. And that is Tom Chorney, a two time All American from Indiana in blue in third right now. Bro, one of the bright young talents of this event. 28 hurdles, seven water jumps. Each of these hurdles and the water jump is three feet high. He's got a 359 miling speed. In order to be great in this event at a world-class level, you've got to be able to run about a 355 mile these days. Coming up with about 200 meters to go. Just over two hurdles to clear. Tim Bro. now you saw the almost the pain on his face and all the effort he is putting out. About a quarter of a lap left to go through the water for the final time. That, this is cross-country running on the track. Tim Bro, Anthony Famiglietti, and then Tom Chorney, the final hurdle, and then it's home free. But Tim Bro catches himself. His left foot caught the front of the hurdle. He's now going to run third, and just as surprised as Tom Chorney ahead of Anthony Famiglietti. 50 meters to go, a huge surprise for Tim Bro as well. For Tom Chorney, he's going to take it at the tape. Famiglietti second, and Tim Bro coming in third. He has to be destroyed. You know, uh, just to add to the, the pain of this thing, it was Bro who just missed the Olympic third place spot on the Olympic trials team by a matter of inches. He lost out that third place spot last year, and here he hits the last hurdle of the 28, catches his toe on the front, and it was at the same spot in 1976 at Olympic trials. At the trials, Mike Roach fell and got up and made the team. Let's see what his time is. He had to get under 8 minutes and 25 seconds, the qualifying time, to go to the World Championships. Tom Chorney takes the high five and says, look what I found. Victory in a national championship in the men's 3,000 meter. Here we come off the final turn. Chorney, Fama Yeti. There's Timbro out front. Now watch his left foot. Right there. You know, he, he just looked to me like he might be too close to the hurdle. It, it, you know, I don't know whether he took his eye off it or was fatigue. But the damage is done. And, and look at him, a little pain at, at the last expression. Boy, that was awful. I don't know whether it was fatigue or pain. But down he goes, gets up, and struggles home in third place. Even though he made that mistake, probably in no other sport can you be rewarded like this, he's still going to make the world championship team up in Edmonton, Alberta. Chorty wins, then Falmoyetti and Timbro in what has to be a disappointing race for him, but still rewarding. Boy, you got to feel sorry for him. Eight minutes, 22.16 seconds for a very surprised Tom Chorney and everyone else here at Hayward Field. Famo Yeti second, and then Tim Bro third. All three of these men make the world championship team. When we come back, Dwight Stones will be standing by with Tim Bro. Smile, young man. You had a great race, even though you didn't win. With the colors of the University of Oregon, we are back in Eugene. Tim Bro may not be smiling, but the rest of us are, Dwight, because of his effort. Thank you, Adrian. Tim, first of all, let's establish you're okay. Uh, I'm fine. Just my pride a little bit. You looked like you had the waist well in hand off the final uh, water jump. What happened to that final barrier? I, I, I just wasn't prepared. I, I, you know, I've been practicing a lot on the, on the barrier that's halfway down the home stretch, and I looked up, and it was there all of a sudden, and I just I goofed. I, I just I goofed it up. The bad news is you did not win the race, but the good news is you did finish in the top three and are going to Edmonton. I can smile about that. So, you know, the, the, this is a great thing about the sports. You can always redeem yourself. So I'll be back. Don't worry. All right. You showed a lot of courage getting up and uh, getting the top three. Congratulations. Thank you. Dwight, thank you. Perhaps in no other sport because of effort like that, you can frown but still get a shot at a world championship.